This is Cameron Chai from azonano.com and I'm speaking to Mario Viani from who's the product manager at Asylum Research and he's going to tell us about their just released a Cypher AFM. Okay. So uh, this is the Cypher here. Uh, the Cypher is a new uh, small sample, high resolution atomic force microscope uh, that we've been developing at Asylum Research for the last uh, four years or so. Um, I'm going to uh, point out a few of the key features. Uh, first of all, this thing comes in a uh, environmental uh, hood to uh, control uh, acoustic noise and also to control uh, uh, temperature variations. Um, so in here we have this. We have the uh, AFM. This part here is the scanner. So it's XYZ sample scanner. Um, the cantilever and sample live in, in this part of the scanner. Uh, the important thing to know about the scanner is that it has uh, now sensors that are used for closed loop scanning that are sub-angstrom. So in a kilohertz bandwidth, we uh, have sensor noise below 60 picometers. And what this means is for the very first time, uh, you are able to uh, achieve atomic resolution while scanning in closed loop uh, in XY. Uh, the second thing to know about this system is that it uh, is able to use smaller cantilevers. So uh, for the first time there's a co commercial AFM that has high enough uh, numerical aperture optics as seen here with this objective. This is a, a 20x.45 NA objective that's used to uh, focus the uh, laser light onto the cantilever and we can achieve spot size spot sizes, focus spot sizes down to uh, 3 microns uh, by say 10 microns in length. The advantage of uh, using these smaller cantilevers uh, is one noise but secondary, secondarily is speed. Um, smaller cantilevers allow you to get higher resonant frequencies for the same spring constants which uh, allows you to image faster without uh, adding any more uh, uh, without causing any issues with uh, destroying your sample. Uh, the only other thing I'll point out about the system here is it has diffraction limited top view optics which makes it very nice for um, aligning features on your sample optically to your cantilever so you can see micron scale features. So I think I'm just going to go over to the uh, software now and just show you uh, we have a small cantilever in, in, in the uh, system right at, right at the moment. You can see here um, the video image, which uh, this cantilever is uh, 10 microns long by 2 microns wide. Um, and uh, so this is one of the uh, prototype small cantilever that we have. And it has a resonant frequency that's at uh, nearly 3 megahertz. So I'm going to start scanning now a uh, mica surface that has been etched in hydrofluoric acid. And the hydrofluoric acid um, will etch the mica in such a way that it leaves, bo uh, leaves behind single atomic steps. So these different layers here show uh, single atomic steps of, uh, of, uh, of the mica. And so what's interesting to note here is that we're able to scan in air in AC mode, so this is not contact mode, but this is tapping mode, which is a, a, a very nice non-destructive way to image. We can image up to, in this case, we're imaging at around uh, 20, lines, 20 lines per second. Um, and the reason we're able to do that is because we have these smaller high-frequency cantilevers. All right, Mario, thanks very much for telling us about your, your new Cypher IFM. Okay, thank you.